Oh, the shark, dear, it has big teeth, dear, and it keeps them pearly white. Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHex.com. On today's show, we are looking at the Intel RealSense D435i depth camera on board the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier Developer Kit. Before we get started, I just want to note that this is for advanced developers. We are going to be building modules and a kernel image for the Xavier. Before we start building, let's put the Xavier into an advanced performance mode. This Xavier has been set up using Jetpack 4.1.1, which installed L4T 31.1. We will be installing LibreRealSense version 2.17.1. Let's take a look at our kernel version. We can see that we are running version 4.9. On the Xavier, LibreRealSense 2 requires that the kernel be patched and modules included. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Live Real Sense to Xavier. Let's clone that repository. And switch over to that repository's directory. Live Real Sense 2 has kernel patches for versions of the kernel 4.4 and 4.10. Since we fall between that, we had to come up with some custom patches. The patches are in the patches directory of the repository. We patch the camera formats so that the Xavier understands the video stream content. We build some modules here and patch them so that the Xavier recognizes the IMU of the D435i. And there's also some metadata that we need to discombobulate. There is a convenience script to build the patched kernel. Let's run that. This will take a while. Let's clone LibreRealSense. This will build the patched kernel in modules and then install the modules. We will need to install our new kernel image separately. Now we've built our new kernel image. It should be in the directory named image. Let's take a look. There it is. On the Xavier, the kernel image must be signed before it can be used. The application that is used to sign the image is located in the Jetpack installer. We must copy the image over onto our Jetpack machine, and then we will flash the signed image back onto the Xavier. But before we do that, we are going to build LibreRealSense itself. Let's build and install LibreRealSense. Make sure that there are no cameras attached. Installation complete. Now we are ready to hook up our camera. Okay, let's take our camera out of the package. The manual, depth camera setup. Here's the camera itself. It has a quarter 20 connector on it. Let's take the protective mask off. Oh, has a nice little tripod. And it has a cable. It looks like it's a super speed USB cable. USB A to USB C. Let's go hook it up to our Jetson. The plug for the USB cable is hidden here. So there's a little cap that you have to remove. You plug it in right there. I just plugged the camera into a powered USB hub, which is 
plugged into the Xavier. Let's switch over to the binary directory. And let's run the real sense viewer. And we can see that we have a real sense D435i. Let's take a look at the motion module. Turn that on. We can see that it's reading information. Let's turn on the stereo module. Grab the shark, get ready. And we'll turn on the RGB camera. There we are. Let's make this full screen. Now you can see that when we move the camera, the IMU moves with it. You can see that we'll have to do some smoothing with that information. But in general, it appears to work. Let's go into a 3D mode. There's a little bug in this application. Let's turn on post-processing. There, that gives us full frame speeds. We'll turn on the color here as our texture. And here we are again. Now we can do a real 3D look. So you can see that we get pretty good frame rates out of this, as we expect. Okay, go back to 2D mode, put down the shark for the moment. One of the issues we have now is the kernel image. Let's take a look at that. Shrink this down. The application appears to work correctly. However, if we look at the logs, the message minus minus follow. We can see that there's a whole bunch of kernel loops here. And basically they're warnings telling us about the unrecognized camera formats. So in a stock kernel, it doesn't recognize what streams the camera is putting out. Those appear to be buried within the V4 L2 module, which is built into the kernel. So if you can live with that, then you can just do nothing, but we're going to go ahead and install our new kernel and we will attempt to get rid of these nasties. So let's stop our application. Oh, this is interesting. So we see we have some permission denied and that appears to be related to the accelerometer, the IMU. So that's something that I will have to come back and look at later. So let's work on upgrading our image. Let's copy our RealSense kernel image over to the Jetpack machine. When we built the kernel, it stuck it in this little image directory. Let's copy our image over. Now we are ready to flash our image. Let's shut down this machine and put it into recovery mode and switch over to our host. We're now over here on our host machine. Here's the image that we copied. Let's scroll it away. I have a little backup directory over here that I have created. We have to make sure to back up our original image. The images are stored in Jetpack. Let's go take a look at our Jetpack 4.1.1 directory. Xavier, Linux for Tegra, kernel. Here's the original image. We'll take that and save it. Now let's place our new image into the kernel directory. Real sense. 
we will make a duplicate of it and let's rename it image. Okay, now we're ready to flash the image. Let's make sure that we can see our Xavier. There it is. Okay, now we need to switch over to our flash directory. That is in the Linux Vertegra subdirectory. Let's switch over there. And now we are ready for the magic incantation. Installation complete. Okay, the machine rebooted. That's a good sign. Let's open up a couple of terminals. We'll keep track of our log. Let's switch over to our binary directory. And we'll turn on RealSense Viewer. Looks like we got a little error there. Let's try turning on our stereo module. Okay, so there's no additional errors reported. That's a good sign. Let's turn on the RGB camera. There we are. <laughs> the shark kills me, man. Mako shark plush. And we'll turn on our motion module. Okay, so now when we move our camera around, we get a little bit of action. We should be able to tell the position of the camera from the accelerometer and gyroscope. With the kernel updated, it looks like it's a lot more behaved. That's a funny word, behaved. Oh, the shark, dear. It has big teeth, dear. And it keeps them pearly white. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.